because I have to talk about Beloved. I already know this will not be a long video. Um, my professor, when she was um, introducing the topics for the papers, told us something that I never heard before, but it's worth pointing out that you are entering a conversation that has started long before you entered and will continue after you're gone. So there's not a lot new that I can say about Toni Morrison's Beloved. I read this for the first time in 12th grade in an AP English class. I do not remember much about it. I'm, you know, general plot. I remember us making fun of the movie, um, which is fair. Um, but none of us really, I think, got the weight of this book. This is a good book. Um, it's not a fun book. You're not going to pick this up for a light read at the beach in the summer. This is what you need to read when you need some perspective um, or you need a new viewpoint to kind of open stuff that you didn't think about before. It's a beautiful book. There's not a single word in this novel that Toni Morrison did not craft specifically to go where he is. It's almost like a song um, in that regard. And it's just, again, it's hard to get through because it is just so weighty. There's a lot going on with trauma and the trauma specifically of slavery. And the main plot of this, if you did not know, is that this former slave named Seth. She has, or Setha, my professor pronounced it Seth, but I've heard it pronounced Setha. Um, she is cornered with her children and is forced to make a choice that haunts her literally for the rest of her life. Um, and it explores like why you would make that choice, the gender differences between having to make that choice, you know, people's perceptions of her afterward. And so again, it's a really good book, but it's not a happy book. It's not a fun book and there's good moments to it and it ends up lifting a little bit, but this is not a fun read. Um, I am glad that I was reading something that wasn't as heavy at the same time, so I could kind of take a break from it when I needed to. Um, but we have to expand our paper to like a 10 page one at the end of this. So it's the third book I read, Toni Morrison's Beloved. I'm not going to rate it. I, I liked it better than I did when I read it in 12th grade. And I'm sure if I revisit it in like 10 years, maybe when I have kids, I think I'll read this completely different. I think that's the important thing to take away from this. If you get nothing else, read this at different points in your life and see how it affects you differently. Yeah. Anyway, that's the review.